What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a title called Every Day We Fight. Didn't know about this one. No PR, no rumblings, no nothing about this game uh, coming out on Steam. It's not out on Steam right now. This is a gameplay prototype, a playtest that they published a couple of days ago that I randomly stumbled upon while I was just kind of like filtering through the list of Steam releases. I saw it and I was like, huh, and I had it on a wish list and a Apparently there's a prototype playtest right now that you can check out right this second. Every Day We Fight is a tactical RPG, a la something like XCOM or Xenonauts or, you know, something like Phoenix Point. Actually, I think Phoenix Point is more than likely the most obvious reference here. Uh, this is Phoenix Point, but it does seem to have like, I don't know if anybody else got the vibe, but like Phoenix Point always felt a little soulless to me. Like, I liked the game, but it didn't feel like it had, like, a lot of atmosphere, like, theme to it. Uh, this game has kind of like a World War II resistance vibe to it, where the main storyline is that humanity found a new element while we were mining deep down in the soil called Elixium. And right when we found that, aliens invaded because they like the Elixium. They want the Elixium, and the aliens deployed a super weapon... Uh, called, like, the time something, rather, which effectively froze every single organic organism on the planet in place. There was one problem with that. Some people were immune to the device, and those people banded together, and they've created kind of their own little red faction that fights back against the aliens as the aliens try to steal all of our Elixium. And so that's kind of where this prototype is at as far as the story goes. It's an AP-based strategy RPG or tactical RPG where your soldiers can die, uh, they take cover, you know, it's got an aiming system that's fairly similar to Phoenix Point, but there are some modifications on in there. And one thing I liked about the game was kind of like the world building, I guess. Uh, with games like this, they're always kind of generic to facilitate. So like the map design in games like XCOM Enemy Unknown and in games like XCOM 2, it's always kind of generic because it has to be used as the building blocks to make greater maps that are procedural and randomized. And only really like the main storyline maps have like a huge amount of character to them. Uh, this game is very European in its kind of map design, and that's what stuck out to me, and that's what made me want to play it, is that it kind of reminds me of that scene from Saving Private Ryan where Barry Pepper is in the sniper's duel with the German that's up inside the bell tower, and, you know, Vin Diesel has been shot, and he's laying on the ground, and it's like a destroyed city, but it's very much kind of like a destroyed French city. Uh, this game has that vibe to it, where the city feels very European and very unique because of it as a fighting zone. I don't think I've seen it in any other game except for maybe, like, Warsaw. So we're going to dive on in today for about 30 or 40 minutes, see if you like this playtest. You can go play it yourself. i got a link for you down below in the description. You can help out with the development of this game. On top of that, you'll also find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live. Uh, but here's our story. The Cognos have been extracting Elixium on the outskirts of the city. Whenever we encounter one of their operations, we put a stop to it. It's easier said than done. Attacking one of their harvester rigs draws in more enemy units to defend it. That's it. The old Ragosa Hotel. Looks like the Cognos are using it for local headquarters. You serious, Leo? What we need isn't there? Afraid so, Dylan. You seeing the same number of assholes as I am? We can't just stroll in and ask for a room. Vivian, thoughts? There's a bus depot not far from here. Might have something we can use. Worth a look. Everybody knows that when you're scouting out, this is an old Mossad FSB. Uh, CIA trick. When you're scouting out a location for clandestine activities, what you should always do is get about 30 feet away from it and then just wildly point your gun at the location that you're planning on attacking. It never gives you away. That's an old spy secret. I think they mentioned it on burn notice. Uh, but let's go ahead and equip our characters. The beginning of the game is going to be a bunch of weapons we can specialize in right here. As far as I know, all of the character development aspects of the game are not in uh, yet, so like we're not going to be getting XP or leveling up or talent trees or anything else like that. We're pretty much defined by the weapon that we have on us, but our characters do have special abilities. At least some of them do. Like Dylan has a special ability, I think, where if an enemy comes inside a melee range with him, he gets to instantly one-shot him. And so typically, you kind of want to camp him out. Uh, next to choke points that the enemy has to pass through to get like free kills. So I'm going to give him the shotgun, which looks kind of like a 
I don't know. It looks like a stubby KS-23 to me, but I don't know what kind of shotgun it is. I think most of the guns in this game are like based on other stuff, but aren't quite that thing. With Vivienne, we're going to use her as a floater. She's going to take this assault rifle over here, which kind of looks like a, a Gewehr to me. I don't know. It looks different on her back than it does in the picture over here. Over here, it looks like a grease gun or something. Over here, it looks like a Gewehr, so I don't know what it is. Leo, we're going to give him the sniper rifle. Uh, which looks kind of like an Enfield to me. I don't know. That's kind of what it looks like in my opinion. It's got like a... Did the Enfield have a dovetail mount on it? His little scout... His little... His little sight looks like it's attached with a dovetail on the side. But uh, you can pick up ammo off the ground. This beginning area is kind of lootable. And so I'm hoping that's something that they actually encourage in the final build of the game. Once they start going to either early access or they start going to uh, their, their release window. I'm hoping that that stays in because that'll imbue the game with a little bit of kind of like a, like a silent storm feeling, which I think is actually pretty cool. It's been years and years and years since Silent Storm came out, and yet, as of right now, there doesn't seem to really be anything quite like Silent Storm to this day. Like, Silent Storm is still one of those unutilized games that nobody seems to reference in their work ever. Uh, in between combats, so there's basically peace areas and there's combat risky areas. Uh, we move around like a like a Bioshock RPG like Dragon Age or something while we're here. WASD, we run around, my teammates automatically follow. Uh, once we get to an area where combat is possible, we will be sneaking around and trying to set up good angles so that we can dictate the flow of the fight and like what the enemy has to do to get to us. They do have a few spots and points of interest as you're running around that'll give you dialogue. Wish I knew why some of us weren't affected by the time barrier. Can't but imagine what it's like. The time barrier. So if you notice, even birds and like cats and stuff have been frozen by the time bomb that the aliens lit off that like suspended everybody inside the continuum. If you walk over here, there's people frozen reading books. There's a bunch of people having a conversation around here. There's kitties, there's birds. There's all kinds of stuff. I don't think I've ever actually gone up this way. I've hit this area from a couple di- Yeah, there's a kitty right there. Hold up. There's a harvester in the alley. Senova, the Cognos are extracting elixium in the middle of the city now. Viv, there are a way around this. Maybe, but we gonna let this operation go unpunished? Not a chance. Very well. The depot can wait. Let's clear out these cognos and destroy that thing. Their harvesters are well armored. Then we find vantage points where we can target its power cells. No targeting its power cells from down here. Need higher ground. Let's be smart. We have the element of surprise. For now. Let's get some payback. So here's where we're going to start scouting and sort of like sneaking around inside this area. Uh, we have multiple angles of attack. I think that's really encouraging. Uh, anytime a game gives you a set of maps and gives you basically five or six rough frameworks for how to accomplish the mission from different angles, once again, that references Silent Storm, which is a game that basically had a huge number of ways that you could accomplish any one of the missions. There were so many of us thorns at one point. Now you can count us on one hand. Oh yeah, we're called Thorns, by the way. That's the name of our resistance operation, uh, the Thorns. They're going to say it a lot as we play the game, and so I figured it was probably a good idea, just in case that wasn't super obvious. What is that right there? Is that a bird? Or like a squirrel or something? It's got a long tail. Maybe it's... A I think it's a kitty, but with all the blue stuff around him, it's hard to tell. They saran wrapped my kitty in time magic. This is unacceptable. Let's carry on. We got some more bullets over here. We'll grab those real quick. And into the combat area we go. We're going to drop down into stealth mode real fast. Grab that light ammo for sure. Always good to have extra bullets. I got to get my camera. I was going to say my camera's like... I gotta get like a better angle here. I'm gonna grab that light ammo real fast, but I don't want to aggro that alien that's up on the roof. Alright, so we're gonna climb up here and hopefully we can accomplish something worthwhile. Power cell in sight. Okay. So we're gonna wanna set up for this ambush. 
We're going to want to have people like in advantageous spots where we can kill all these guys on our opening turn before they get to scramble so that everything works out for us. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Leo right here. And we can press the V key to split everybody up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Dylan right here to pop this guy in the back. And I'm going to put Vivienne. I said she was going to be our floater. She's going to be our floater. I'm going to put her in cover right here. And then we'll pop back over to Leo and this guy's about to have a real bad day. So the aiming system in this game, it is very, very similar to Phoenix Points. And that was one of the things I liked the most about Phoenix Point is the aiming system was really cool. In this game, you can also hold your breath by holding down the shift key. That will make you zoom in, it will tighten your reticle, and it will slow time down. And there's a reason for holding your breath, and it's called scramble turns. In this game, whenever somebody takes an attack, they have an opportunity to use, like, seven free AP to scramble in a direction. This is very interesting because in a game where your characters universally hit if you're aiming well, that scramble turn affects things that have like mag dumps. So stuff like SMGs, things like ARs, they go ba 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 and each bullet does like one tenth of the total damage of the attack. And that means with your scramble turn, if you're peeking over like that ledge, for example, you'll get hit by like the first bullet, but your scramble turn will pull you out of line of sight so all the rest of them hit the wall right there. Basically, to sort of imply the fact that you're like leaning away from the wall and trying to get away from it now that you're under fire. It's kind of a cool system and I dig it. Let's go ahead and kill him off real quick. Combat is indeed initiated. I'm gonna reload. I was going to see if I could bust that guy's head open, but I don't have enough AP to guarantee the shot. Well, I hit him. That's good. I mean, it's better than not hitting him. Uh, you go ahead and, I don't know, get away from wherever you can be shot from. We also have Dylan over here. Uh, Dylan's going to go ahead and... Brap! Down goes an alien. I don't know how many more aliens are around. I'm going to put her up on the wall right here real quick. Just a look. There's an alien around that corner. Okay. I guess we could overwatch it. Then again, she'll probably take fire from right here would be my guess. So what access points do we have to get in here in this building? Like, where where is the stairwell at that allows people to be up inside my business? Uh, pull back around this wall right here. Just be in cover for now. We'll fight from inside of here. Don't have enough AP left to aim at anything. But yeah, everybody kind of get inside this room, I guess. Yeah, I think the aliens are aware of us. I think they know that we're here. That's the, that's the feeling that I'm getting, is that maybe the aliens are aware of our presence. Go ahead and rap tap bang that magazine. That doesn't leave us with a lot of AP to play with. I can get him over to there, and it looks like maybe we have line of sight from right there. I do like the little laser pointer preview that the game gives me. Oh no, it's going to take 5 AP to get over there, so that's honestly not really an option either. Okay, just pull everybody into like a safe spot then. It panned the camera over to here. Which made me suspicious. So there's a guy right there. Maybe if I pull back over to here? And you can lean in this game, which I love. So in this game, you can actually sit on the windowsill and lean out of it to fire your weapon, kind of like a, a pool hall trick shot. Love that. Uh, they are going to have to get new sound effects. None of the guns sound particularly poppy, boomy, plosive. There's no ricochets or anything when you fire and miss. That's stuff that they're probably going to want to add in there. If I can get him up against a wall over here, that'd be great. So you go over there. I don't know how much line of sight that gives people to shoot at him. It's tough to tell. We might be able to pop something with Vivienne from over here.
unfortunately... Oh, I got the wrong person. Vivienne! She can take a shot. It's a sketchy shot. It's probably... It's a, it's a not gonna land shot, but we can give it a go. I mean, we hit him twice. I think that's probably the best you can do. Uh, yes. Trigger the proximity punch. So as you can see, he's got an ability that knocks someone the hell out if they get too close to him. Uh, you scatter that direction, don't get shot. Bullets really hurt in this game. Uh, part of the reason why the scatter system and why the scramble system is so beneficial the counterbalance to that is that your characters die in like two shots. So don't get shot if you can help it. You kind of want to you want to fight with these feints and jabs from windows and whatnot, which I will say is it feels very resistance fightery. You can pick that up. Uh, go ahead and finish this guy off. Is he dead? Uh, he's not dead. He's still need. This guy's got a a pretty resilient dome piece. If I'm being honest, my man took some serious bullets right there. Ooh, there's an extra med kit right there too. Love it. All right, so you get back into cover so that at least you're good to go. Leo, what are we doing over here? You've got a bullet. That's good. I like it when you've got a bullet because your sniper rifle hurts like hell. Go ahead and lean out of cover. Give him one right between the eyes. Fall back into a safe spot. You get out here. Probably better to lean on this one, maybe. I wanted to go center mass, but didn't go that way. All right, pull back into cover real quick. And we'll let it run. Uh, that guy decided he didn't want the smoke. So with 14 AP, can you get to anywhere that's got a shot on this guy? Not really. A shot's going to cost us 10. Not really. Okay. I guess reposition onto the ground floor level then. That sounds all right to me. That feels like a, a decent plan for you. There we go. He's now down on the ground floor. I got a bad feeling we're going to have to push this alien. Let's start gathering ammo and supplies and whatnot while we're over here. Well, I guess that ammo won't activate right there. Either that or we're full on medium. There we go. It popped loose. Now I've got it. I just had to, like, activate another ability and then cancel it and let me pick up the ammo. Probably a little prototype bug right there. I don't know exactly what I want to do over here. It looked like they had an access point over here, so maybe go out that way. We'll kind of see how it plays. Vivienne, just stay where you're at in case he decides to loot back. I don't think he's actually going to loot back. I think he's just, like, fleeing in terror right now. I don't know if we, we broke his will or what happened here. But it would appear as though... Oh no, he scrambled, dude. They get to scramble when you aim. And I haven't quite got the timing of it down yet. Basically, once the reticle fully dilates, they get to take their scramble turn, which means you may actually, in some cases, need to lead the enemy, or you may need to like predict where they're going to go in order to hit the shot, which I think is a fairly interesting mechanic in my opinion I don't know if she can bust a shot from right there I'm like terrified to leave my guys out of cover it never works out like every time somebody gets shot in this game and then dies I cry a little bit hey you hit him I think we're clear so let's focus on the harvester yup yup all right everybody group up Everybody up the ladder. All right. So until we touch the harvester, I don't think anything bad happens. 
So this is a really good time to reload everybody, too. They don't do it automatically, but they should. When combat gets dropped, that'd be a feature I definitely recommend adding. Everybody instantly reloads their weapons whenever you drop combat. Uh, we have a med kit over here that I wanted to give to somebody. Who's got room? Leo, grab that med kit, bruh. There we go. Leo got the med kit. Uh, we're going to want to have one person here to shoot this. Th I'm going to try to kill all of them very quickly. So we're going to put you right here. We're going to put everybody on split up mode. And then Dylan, you stay here as well. But Vivienne, we're going to have to figure out what we want you to do. Damn, we've got to be on, like, wildly different spots in order to hit these. We've basically got to traverse the map, like, multiple times. If I isolate her, this may be risky for her survivability. It's very tough to say. I'm going to run around and pick up all the loot first, I think. Well, I have people in positions where they can shoot the power cells and get two of them knocked out. The third one might be a little bit of a pipe dream, but I think we can get two before the reinforcements spawn. The second we touch these things, a bunch of aliens are going to spawn. I guess I'll have Dylan kind of hang out in between the two of them in case this goes really wrong. But Leo, when you're ready, brother. There's one down. All right, you go ahead and get back inside real quick. The enemy reinforcements are going to be here in just a second. Vivienne, you're up next. Two down, and we got a lot of bad guys to kill. Let's get everybody indoors. Uh, we are going to have to fight for our lives very shortly. We got a lot of spawns coming in. <laughs> I don't know if I was meant to optimize the situation like that. Yep, that's a lot of aliens. Luckily, we get the opening salvo, so it might be okay. Is that window open right there? I need that window to be open because I have a I have a plan. Yeah, I have an especially plan-like plan that I think will get us out of this. Oh, they scrambled out of my grenade? Why did they get to scramble out of grenades, dude? That's so upsetting. I just used, like, a super limited resource. I don't think you should be allowed to scramble out of grenades. Like, they're such a limited resource that you don't get very many of. That I feel like... Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna have to... Listen. Since that plan doesn't work, I'm gonna throw a hologram. There we go. I've thrown a hologram. I'm gonna... I gotta wash the salt off me for a second. I, they got to scramble away from my grenade, and I'm tilted. All right, that was actually something that I didn't test before I did this video. I played through this section before, but I actually didn't test out the grenades yet. Ooh, these guys are a little bit tougher. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and bop him in the head. And then swap to your pistol, maybe follow it up. Yeah, that worked out okay. I'll take it. Uh, you need to get away from that window, though. <laughs> Being near that window feels like a bad idea to me. Uh, they are going to be up. Yeah, they're going to be up this ladder pretty aggressively, I would think. So it may be in our best interest to just kind of, like, put you right there. And then maybe, like, overwatch the ladder, possibly? Yeah, that feels somewhat okay to me. Vivienne has one shot left, but let's see what they decide to do. Oh, he's gonna res his homie. I didn't even know he could do that either. Oh, no, it's the hologram. They're shooting my hologram. I thought he rezzed his buddy. I was like, oh, no, dude. 
That's such a major problem. Yeah, the fact that they're kind of like flooding in from that side is also an issue. This could uh, be bad for us. This could be a situation. Who else has a grenade? Because I need like problems to go away. All right. Dude, if they scramble this again. I wonder if I could like throw the grenade out and when they move, if I had overlapped overwatches on top of them, if it would trigger all the overwatches. Hmm. I feel like that's a question. I feel like that's a valid question. And an interesting question. Uh, do I have no ammo right now? I have no ammo right now. Let's go ahead and reload then. Okay, popped him. That's gonna make him scramble a little bit. Get back behind a wall. He's gonna come back up over there, but I should be able to run this way down the stairs if I take fire to get away from the armored guy, I would think. At least that's what I assume is gonna happen. You get up on the window, but you know what they say about assuming. It could be bad. Oh no, he moved. Damn it. Now she's stuck in the window too. Uh, maybe get over here. Hopefully that shield don't come back. If that shield comes back... Ugh, he's like perfectly behind that pole right there. If he already took a scramble turn, does he get like another one? Second, can I hand something? It doesn't look like I can hand something to somebody. Alright, you come back over here then. And you give me an overwatch on this ladder. Because I feel like it's fairly likely that they're going to try to come up the Watching ladder. Go. I was correct. Uh, he is coming up the ladder. Whether or not he's going to fire at me remains to be seen. Uh, who is scattering right now? You're scattering? All right, scatter into there. Woo! Okay, yep, that was close. I don't even know what they're doing. If they come up that back ladder right there, we got a big problem. What I would suggest is for when it's their turn, put up a thing like Xenonauts does where it's a picture, like a terrifying horror picture, and it just says enemy movement. Instead of having these little red outlines right here, just get rid of those entirely with the camera popping around and just say enemy movement and then only show the enemy once they're actually inside a line of sight. It's a way for you to build up atmosphere and make the game feel more terrifying and scary. Uh, Vivienne, I'm really sorry to say this, but I need you to solve a problem for me. Like, I need you to solve a big problem for me, and the problem is called this nerd right here. Okay. Yeah, that didn't quite solve the problem in the way that I had hoped. I mean, technically, I guess you could super punch this guy. It's called a super punch. I assume it must be at least in some part super. <laughs> the thought... I don't know why, but the thought of, like, hyper technologically advanced aliens landing on our planet and freezing us all with what is effectively wizardry, like a bomb that freezes time over the entire planet like a super weapon. And then <laughs> the aliens are like, what is your special ability? And he's like, I punch guys. One punch! <laughs> you know? You just like cold clocks them. <laughs> I don't need fancy technology. I just need this. Holds up his fist. He has like his welcome to Earth Will Smith moment. Are you dead? I need you to be dead. I do like how the armor is specific to their body parts. And that it can be... Oh, that got... Okay. Yep, we're gonna need... You know those internet videos that are super addicting to watch where they take like a super dirty rabbit? Like stuffed rabbit? And then they've got one of those like steam cleaners with like the Chinese writing on it? 
and, and then they like steam clean it with the what those are so entertaining we're gonna need one of those machines I don't know what those machines are but I want one and the fact that I don't have one makes me very sad I wish that I had one I don't know that there's much that I can do over here I mean I can take that guy out that's good enough for me Every single time there's one less enemy on the board, I am happy. So I'll take it. I think we're good here, actually. I don't think there's too much more for us to do. The AI seems to be stutter-stepping and crapping its pants. At least on that. I don't know if they're setting up overwatches or what they're doing. But they definitely don't seem to be... Oh boy, yeah, you better scatter inside that door. Whew. Okay, yep, that was horrifying. I love that they've already got vault animations in the game, even in their prototypes, so that's really good. I definitely think they're going to have to clean up the enemy animations a little bit for shooting, add some more recoil to them, make everything feel a little bit more like it has a bit more oomph to it, you know? Because, like, when people shoot guns in games, they want to feel the oomph. Yeah, don't, 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 don't come inside my, this is, this is my private property, okay? On this planet here, we have real strong respect for a thing called property rights and a man's home and his castle. And he is well within his limits if an alien decides to step inside that castle to spray him down with Uncle Sam's most finest lid. Oh boy. Things are kind of bad over here. I mean, I killed one, so that's good. Like, I feel like my strength right now is largely in, like, how much can I turtle? You know what I mean? If somebody decides to come up this way, I'm spray them. I don't much care who it might be, but your job is to shoot them in the face. This one's mine. That did not accomplish as much murder as I had hoped it would accomplish. Armor appears to be very effective at stopping small arms fire. Honestly, I feel like the super punch is still our best option here. Because, like, it takes that guy off the board entirely. And then it puts him in a position to overwatch that doorway and scramble back inside of there if he gets shot at. So I feel like it's a strong play just to knock him the hell out and CC him. You get over here... Just take one shot and then run back inside. I love the hit and run. And, like, this feels the most like Guerrilla Warfare to me, I think, of many, many of the XCOM likes that I've played up until this point in my career. Like, this constant ebb and flow, this lapping of the waves, where each time the wave crashes, it's a gunshot, and then it recedes. Like, it's got, like, a push and pull to the way that you play with the scrambles and with, like, the firing your shot. It's not a game about standing your ground. That's the thing, is you get no defensive bonus by being behind something. In this game, there is only line of sight. And so it really encourages you not to hold your ground. It encourages you to flow like water, basically, and, and fill the vessel, like Bruce Lee said, the way it needs to be filled in order to avoid retaliation. It's got a fluidity to the way that you move about and when you castle like we're doing right now that feels good to me. I like it. With Leo, I'm just going to have you reload. I want to see what happens if I have two people on Overwatch, I think. And they both get triggered. How will it way. handle that? Let's find out. Okay, so he's coming up. Like fish in a barrel. Gets shotgunned. There you are. Very nice. Okay, so it kept track of it and it did them in sequence the exact way that it was supposed to do so. We're very lucky in the respect that this house is really easy to defend. We'd be having a super bad time right now if this house wasn't nearly as easy to defend. Go ahead, and he's going to be up on the next turn, huh? Okay. Well, I got bad news for you, alien buddy. 
he's not dead, but we'll finish it. Don't worry, we, we'll finish him off. You hide inside the toilet room. Yes, hide, hide, hide inside the deuce throne. She's only got nine rounds left. Unfortunate. Can she hit his chest from right here? She can, and now he's dead. Good. Like the Emperor said, the only good Zeno is the dead Zeno. If I go over to there, he doesn't have a round in the chamber. Never mind, he can't do it even if I wanted to do it. Uh, let's go ahead. What is his ability? Oh, he's just got like a normal punch. I'm kind of curious what the sniper's ability is. Like, what does he do? You know what I mean? Because, like, he's got the super punch and, like, the reactive punch. Vivienne has the hologram. What do you do? What is your ability? Oh, he can donate his AP to other players. I could see that being really useful. Watching for movement. Like, using him as, like, a buddy to stick with somebody that's got, like, an LMG that's very, like, AP heavy to just be like, ba 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 and fire lots of rounds. I don't think these guys want to fight anymore. This guy's just hiding behind a pole. Oh, he's not hiding behind a pole anymore. Okay. Let us squeeze forth a shot of destiny then. Reload. Man, it is thirsty for him to take one shot. It really sincerely is. Let's take out these guys in our backyard first. She's only got one round left though. Reload real quick. All right, we reloaded. Take him out. I forget, there's something, so something gets rid of armor. So I think large caliber breaks armor faster, which is the yellow meter, and blue is broken faster by small arms fire, I think. I can't recall. There's like a, there's like a rule to the way all this works. There's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors thing that the game's got going on. I don't know if he's going to climb up here on this turn or not. I guess we'll kind of find out. I'm just going to bypass the turn. He appears to be... Yeah, I don't even think they're... Maybe their morale's broken? Either that or their AI bugged out. It's a prototype, you know what I mean? I was expecting something to go wrong. Oh, he can also taunt. So not only does he have the... Uh, not only does he have the the punch when somebody runs past him. Oh, he only gets the one shot. Okay, get back behind cover. Uh, one of you is gonna have to go dig out that alien downstairs. All right. It's not fair, but somebody gotta do it. I think she can make that shot from right there. She can indeed. Oh, okay. Yep, that solved that problem. We used to have an alien problem. Not no more. Dylan can get down to there. I didn't expect him to be able to cross the gap that fast. Get over there. Do your thing, man. Do your thing, man. All right. Oh. Area clear. Don't see anymore. Time to take down that monstrosity. Okay. Everybody group up on me. Stay with me here. We got to take out this last thing and then we're going to find out what happens. I don't actually know what happens when we shoot this last thing. I didn't play that far when I was testing the game out, all right? I played for like 20, 30 minutes. I fiddled around with some things. It just let me pick up shotgun shells through the wall. It's a prototype. I just keep reminding myself, but I think some of the additions they've made here I see a power cell. To like the Phoenix point equation with like the scrambles and whatnot, I kind of dig it. And with like the holding your breath to tighten your reticle to make shots, but that allows the enemy on a delay when the reticle dilates to scramble away. Like there's some cool ideas here. Like obviously it's going to come down to execution. That was the last one. Looks like they chickened out. <laughs> Good work, Thorns. With that out of our system, we can head to the bus depot. It should be on the other side of those taller buildings. Hopefully we'll be free and clear of any Cognos for a while. Thanks, Leo. Now that you've completely jinxed us, 
I'm going to restock on supplies whenever I can. I suggest we all do. Let's move. Oh, that was the whole mission. Well, there you go. We're just, like, done on that side. But, yeah, I like the scramble turns. I think they're interesting once you've seen them and you know to expect them at certain points. I like them. Uh, but this game is called Every Day We Fight, a random playtest that I found on Steam when I was just, like, sifting through the pile, as I tend to do. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games, as previously mentioned, so that you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block... An interesting little change of flavor, change of pace for the XCOM Phoenix Point formula in a game called Every Day We Fight. I'll be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet, but for now it's time for me to go. Bye, folks.